the seventh property is time shifting property and like earlier lectures we will first understand the property and then we will prove it let's say there is a time domain signal xt and this signal is having the fourier transform equal to x j omega and now we perform the left shifting of the signal by t naught in this scenario the Fourier transform which was initially equal to x j omega will get multiplied to e power plus j omega t naught here positive sign is for the left shifting and t naught is the amount by which we are performing the shifting and if we consider the case of right shifting if we have negative sign here then the negative sign will also come here so this is the time shifting property of Fourier transform and now we will prove it to prove it I will first write the Fourier transform x j omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and as we are performing the time shifting operation we will replace t by t minus t naught I am taking the case of right shifting you can take the case of left shifting also so signal xt will now change to xt minus t naught and let's say corresponding to this new signal the Fourier transform is equal to x j omega dash and now we are interested in calculating the new Fourier transform x j omega dash it will be equal to integration minus infinity to infinity the new time domain signal x t minus t naught multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and now we will consider t minus t naught equal to tau this implies t is equal to tau plus t naught and very small t will give us very small tau the range of integration will remain same when you put t equal to minus infinity you will get tau equal to minus infinity because t naught is a very small value in front of infinity so it will not change minus infinity or infinity and therefore the range of integration will remain same so let's write down the new Fourier transform formula having the new independent variable tau t minus t naught is equal to tau so we have x tau multiplied to e power minus j omega in place of t we will write tau plus t naught and in place of dt we will write d tau e power minus j omega tau plus t naught we can write as two different exponentials we will have e power minus j omega tau multiplied to e power minus j omega t naught d tau and if you look at this exponential we are having e power minus j omega t naught there is no tau in this exponential so it will act as constant with respect to tau and therefore we can take it out of integration so we are having e power minus j omega t naught integration minus infinity to infinity signal x tau multiplied to e power minus j omega tau d tau now if you compare this integration with this formula here you will find only independent variable t is replaced by tau therefore the overall result will not change and we will have x of j omega from this integration and we are calculating the new Fourier transform x j omega dash so we can say that x j omega dash is equal to e power minus j omega t naught multiplied to x j omega x j omega is the initial Fourier transform before performing the time shifting operation on signal xt and in this way we have clearly proved the time shifting property because x j omega dash is the Fourier transform of x t minus t naught therefore this is the Fourier transform of signal x t minus t naught and if you consider the case of right shifting this means if you have positive sign here then in the Fourier transform positive sign will come here so this is all for the seventh property and now we will move to the eighth property 
The eighth property is the frequency shifting property. And again, we will first understand the property and then we will prove it. Let's say there is a time domain signal xt having the Fourier transform equal to x j omega. And if we multiply e power plus minus j omega naught t to the time domain signal xt, the Fourier transform will change to x j omega minus plus omega naught. So this is the frequency shifting property of Fourier transform. And in this property, you have to be careful about this sign. When we have e power plus j omega naught t multiplied to xt, you can see the sign is positive here, but the sign here is negative between omega and omega naught. Omega naught is the amount by which we want to perform the frequency shifting. And when we have negative sign here, then between omega and omega naught, we will have positive sign. So the sign is opposite in the two cases and therefore you have to be careful about this sign. Now we will prove this property and for this I will first write down the Fourier transform and it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. And as we are performing the frequency shifting operation, we will multiply e power j omega naught t to xt. I am taking the case when we have positive sign here. So we will multiply e power j omega naught t to our time domain signal xt. And for this new signal, let's say the Fourier transform is equal to x j omega dash. And now we are interested in finding out the new Fourier transform x j omega dash. And for this, we will use the formula of Fourier transform. Our signal is e power j omega naught t xt. So we will have e power j omega naught t xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. I will combine the two exponentials. So we have integration minus infinity to infinity signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega minus omega naught t dt. So this is our new Fourier transform x j omega dash. And if you compare the two transforms, you will find there is one difference. In place of omega, we are having omega minus omega naught. So the final result is very easy to understand. The new Fourier transform x j omega dash will be equal to old Fourier transform having omega minus omega naught in place of omega. And we know x j omega dash is the Fourier transform of this signal. So this will be the Fourier transform of e power j omega naught t multiplied to x t. We are having positive sign here. So here we will have negative sign. Omega naught is the amount by which we want the frequency shifting to take place. And if we were having negative sign here, here we will have positive sign. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section.